Hey everybody, um, I just thought that I would show you a little trick that you um, might want to use if you are working with some of our EAL students. So this can be used just to translate a few different words or it could be used to translate a full document. Um, what I think this might be really helpful for is translating directions, which a lot of students have a hard time with. Um, so in Microsoft Word, when you open your document, I just used an example here from an old uh, psychology assignment that I, I used to use. You click on review and then you click on translate. So you can choose to translate just a selection like a part. So for example, if I wanted to just translate my instructions here at the top, or if I want to translate the whole document, I have that choice as well. So let's try document you'll see that the translation tool pops up on the right and you can choose the language that you want to translate into. So um, obviously we have a lot of Arabic speaking students, so let's try that. You click on Arabic and you hit translate and it actually will translate that, translate that entire document for you so that the students can understand what you're asking. So you don't necessarily have to use the full translated version. Maybe you just give them a translated version and they can complete the exercise on the English version that you've provided for them. However, it's just um, an easy little tip that might help you, especially when students maybe don't understand all the details of what you want them to do. So oftentimes students do know the content, they know exactly what you're asking for, but they just don't fully understand the directions and the small fine details of what you're wanting them to complete in terms of maybe you want them to put it in a PowerPoint or you want them to um, prepare an essay. Um, and you have some really, really fine details that you want to share with them. So this is just a little tip. I hope it's helpful um, and um, I've used it and it's worked really well for me.